Hey guys, I am back at my home in Louisiana and when I'm designing and decorating and sometimes shopping, I always refer back to things I've done in this house or things that I've used to decorate it. So I figured today I would take y'all inside and show y'all some of my favorite things in this house. Something I really loved about this house is when you walked in, you could see straight through to the other side. So we have our screened in porch there and that's the bayou in the background. Also, this house has a foyer and I absolutely love decorating a foyer. In my foyer is some of my favorite items. Do y'all remember this pillow I made I'm pretty sure it's been over a year now. It still looks amazing. I absolutely love this pillow. One of my favorite designs. And then I have it decorated all the way to the top. And then on this side, I have a pie safe. Y'all know I absolutely love pie safes. And how amazing does this look in my foyer? Once again, I have it decorated all the way to the top. Make sure y'all go all the way to the ceilings with y'all decor. And here is my umbrella basket that I have talked about before. So this is it. And I just have it hanging on this little drawer in my pie safe. So this is what it looks like when you enter my house. This is my entertainment center. It is made out of cypress. I did paint the back panels the same color as my wall just to lighten it up but i definitely did not want to paint the whole thing because i think the wood looks absolutely beautiful with all the white around it all of my indoor plants have not survived so i'm gonna have to replace them with some faux plants here is something else i've made in one of my videos these are bricks that i have turned into bookends and this is also one of my most favorite things that I've ever made. I'm not going to go into detail over every single piece, but if that is something that you would like me to do, just leave a comment below and maybe I can make another video just going into detail on how I decorated everything. I just want to show you all this. This is my son, Waylon, and that is my husband. So I cannot take credit for how cute my kids are because I mean they look just like their dad <laughs> this is my kitchen dining area it's really hard to film in here because of the sunlight coming in but I just want to show y'all a few things I have three vintage colanders hanging over my door right here I just think that's such a sweet look in a kitchen something I've never seen done before so I wanted to show y'all that in case y'all love colanders as much as I do. And then right here I have this foyer table. It was actually in my foyer and then when I got the pie safe I moved it over here and then I have some floating shelves. I must have had something right here that I moved or sold because it looks empty. But do y'all remember these that I made in a video? Um, it was one of those things that I made and I was supposed to sell and I just could not. It was so cute. I had to keep these. Look at this beautiful lemon watercolor. This is the stuff I love finding when thrifting. And I absolutely love using glass measuring cups as decor in the kitchen. You just put a little tea towel with some wooden spoons and it's absolutely adorable. I remember when I thrifted these weed vases. So you know when your kids pick you some weeds and you don't know what to do with them, you need some little weed vases. I did replace them with some faux uh granary because you know the weeds were only lasting like a half a day <laughs> and i want to just show y'all this artwork right here because this is one of my most favorite designs and i don't think i've ever shown it on a video with something i made several years ago before youtube but it's just this nice wood chunky frame that i painted white in distress and then i put some metal behind it and then a succulent in front and i just absolutely love this I need to recreate this for my other house because like I said, this is one of my favorite designs. I absolutely love the way that this looks. I recently thrifted one of these bud vases back in Mississippi and I told y'all I had one at my Louisiana home. So here it is 
sitting on my windowsill. This is the boys hallway and somebody actually gave me this vintage phone because they knew I would love it and I do. And I just made this telephone sign to go on top of it and it is just the perfect thing at the end of this hallway. This is the boys bathroom. I love decorating bathrooms. I'm not going to show y'all the whole thing, but I just wanted to show y'all some of my favorite items in here. I absolutely love these Avon dolls. I have two in here and I also have some in the girls bathroom that I'm going to show y'all. My son Waylon actually cut this whale out with my dad. He made this. Love that. Y'all know I'm obsessed with whales because his name is Waylon. So I have one there. I have one up here and then check out this beautiful brass whale. You know I had to have this when I found it. How cute is that? This is my son Waylon's room. It's not fully decorated because when we moved here, he was younger and he had the most amazing toddler pirate ship bed. And of course, you know, we had to upgrade as he got older and I never really finished decorating this room. But I think, I think it's still really cute and I have some great pieces that I've thrifted throughout the years. This is a vintage desk. It is really tiny, so I thought it would just be the perfect nightstand in this room. And then, you know, we have to have a Cypress p rog in here. <laughs> so we got that just sitting on the top ledge. And I want to show y'all this art piece real quick because I think it is so beautiful. It's half of a boat on this wood frame. I love that so much. There's lots of nautical stuff in here because, you know, whaling, whales, that's the theme that we went with. Um, his furniture in here, I actually thrifted all these pieces, y'all, for $25. And then when we moved here, I painted it this beautiful navy blue and it has held up really great. Probably need to redo this area, but it is fine for now. So I got two more Avon bottles. Told y'all I love those. And let me show y'all this. I thrifted this probably 16 years ago because it was when I was pregnant with my oldest son. It is a cement truck. How adorable is this? If you know how in the world they made this, please let me know. I love this so much. Here's a little United States puzzle that I thrifted and my son Waylon is definitely a little brainiac so he would time himself on how fast he could make this puzzle and that's all his times right there. So I guess his best time was 1 minute and 59 seconds and he's just so cute y'all. I came across this piece recently at a thrift store and I told y'all I had one back home. It is just a pewter cup and it has the alphabet. I think it's so cute. That's Waylon when he was a little bitty baby. And I love when I come across these wooden pencil holders. I just think they look great with some colored pencils as decor in your kid's room. And I want to climb up there and show y'all that piece because it is beautiful. His banana tree did not make it. We had a beautiful banana plant growing and not anymore. I love krill artwork and this piece is absolutely beautiful. How long do you think it took somebody to make this? I absolutely love it. And I just painted the frame to match the furniture in his room. Let's take a stroll down the girls' hallway. Y'all do not forget about hallways when you are decorating. It is a great place to put some of your favorite items and also lots of pictures. This hallway leads to one of my favorite rooms in the house. This is the baby's room. It is so pretty, y'all. Love this room. I know it's tiny. <laughs> we were here for about a year before we found out we were having her and she was kind of a surprise. So we had to create a space for her and y'all know I made the most of it. With Waylon, it was all about the whales. And with Wren, I had to have lots of birds. These are actually some drawings that the other kids made for her of birds. And I put them 
in her room and then I have this beautiful bird mobile that my cousin made for her and do y'all remember I recently thrifted this candle in Mississippi and I told y'all it was in her room over here I actually have a video on her room and it pretty much looks exactly the same so I will leave a link to that video in the description below if y'all want to watch it I certainly had so much fun designing and decorating this sweet little room this is my laundry room I actually have a video on YouTube showing you how I did this room I think that was one of my very first videos so I apologize now if the quality is not great but y'all this is wood that I hot glued to the wall to make this pattern that was several years ago and it still looks amazing love this love my vintage ironing boards I had so much fun decorating this room. I love doing laundry rooms. It pretty much looks exactly the same as when I first did it because why mess with perfection? I love this room. Check out this picture of me, Ryan, and Ren on vacation a few years ago. Immediately after this picture, I went order some little bonnets for her bald head because they look so cute on her. She's always been my perfect little vintage baby. This is a girl's bathroom. I kind of went with a brighter, but also a little bit of a vintage feel in here. I have all these Avon dolls, love those. And I also have lots of Creel artwork in here. Look how pretty these flowers are. On one of my recent haul videos, I thrifted some of these crocheted flowers. And I told y'all how I put them on embroidery hoops and I just love the vintage look of that and over here of course I have some more Creole artwork some more Avon dolls and y'all look at these basket clams you just never know what you're gonna find when you are out thrifting y'all my oldest son is an amazing artist and he drew me these birds at five years old this is some artwork that I will definitely treasure forever this is the tiny hallway that leads to my master. Here is my number six croc that I absolutely love. And these are actually gold frames that are layered. So when you look at really old frames, it's just lots of moldings put together. So don't forget that you can put two or three frames together to make a really beautiful chunky frame. And here is my master bedroom. I get so many questions about my bed. It is handmade and hand painted. However, I did not do it. I actually purchased it from Christian Street Furniture. They have a location in Baton Rouge and I believe in Lafayette as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Love this bed and overall, I just really love this room. In a recent video, I thrifted a piano roll and I told y'all how I had turned one into a piece of artwork in this house and here it is. Absolutely love this. And if you love it too, I have great news because I think I'm gonna have some of these piano rolls available on my next website sale, April 6th. I love oyster art, it's so Southern and so coastal. And this is an oyster ball that I created. Actually, I have a video of this and I love this so, so much. So I have it sitting right here next to my bed. I just want to show y'all something in my master bathroom really quick. Do y'all remember when I went to the flea market recently and I told y'all I use this, what I know now is a piece of a stove as a towel bar. This is it and this is how it looks. I think it looks really great as a hand towel holder. Let me know what y'all think. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. That is obviously not my whole house, but I just wanted to show y'all some of the things that I have been talking about in my recent videos. And you can definitely see how this house is influencing my style in Mississippi. So y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next one.